All right, greetings and salutations, and we're near, near, in, near. In the last episode, we got to the area, and we found out everyone's a xenophobic asshole. So in this episode, we're going to go back to Popola and see what smart idea she is next. Oh, an item. What's that? A sparkly shiny. Nice flowers. Those are Luna Tears. Legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. Jeez, Yona almost killed herself getting one, and whoever this person is who made it just got an entire chain yes. of them. That's the flower I told Yona about. Hands off the flowers. Huh? That's, uh, quite the outfit. Yona? No. I fear we have greater issues to deal with. <sighs> Is she a shade? No. She's got the black scroll too. Oh dear. Wait, I don't want to attack her. I don't even know her. Now, I know this was several years before Dragon Guard 3 came out, but I have a feeling this was, uh... The definite intention of oh my god, intention of the design behind uh, Dragon Guard 3's protagonist. Now Yona is the oh not Yona. I really the first time I played this game I really thought since this took place a lot of years after the opening I really thought uh, time travel was going to be the uh, big thing behind the plot and it's going to be like Yona from a different time. But, uh, by the way, that hypothesis is, uh, not true. She's vulnerable when she attacks. Strike then! This is about the only time I find the guard command, uh, useful. Because she, uh, stops getting so predictable. Jeez. All right. I don't really know how to work guard too well, and my L2 button's really quite, uh, fritzy. This game really broke my shoulder buttons. Is that all? <laughs> you can see your booty crack. I really like those swords. I'm kind of impractical, though. <laughs> Laura Bailey, is that you? It is, in fact. Oh, jeez. Whoa, heck. Magic. This woman is certainly not to be trifled with. Okay. Let your guard I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. Then again, I don't really know what I was expecting. Got a strength drop going. Strength drops are really cool. They don't last for long, but a small amount of time they do last. It's really good. Is that your stomach or something? Oh, hey, ugly. It's like a scorpion, almost. I guess we're working together now. Go with me. Oh my god, it is bullet hell. Stay out of my way. Of course, I really should have saved that strength drop now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. It's unfortunate, but if you don't do it, they get a lot of HP back, and then you gotta break him from the brink, or bring it back to the brink again. Fortunately, these things aren't too difficult to kill, but you really don't want them alive, because I think they start spitting out uh, some pretty powerful bullets. Like the red magic bullets. The words out of my mouth, but I still expect. I really thought the, uh, yep, fifth swing would have uh, killed one right off the bat. Nice. So I'm getting fucked up by those shockwaves. Fortunately, they don't deal too much damage, and they uh, don't really go all that far, so you can send and pick it off with Dark Lances or Dark Blast if you really wanted to. And it's going to start spitting bullet hell at you, so... That's just something you're going to have to get used to in this game. Because it sure loves bullet hell. Fortunately, we have our own bullet hell to counter with. It's not really a good strategy, because it deals such chip damage that every fight would take forever. But it's nice for this one, I suppose. I think it just pissed it off. Yeah, I think we really just served to piss it off. Oh, shit. Thanks. I told you to stay out of the way! Oh, crap. She didn't even fall off her feet, though. Good on you. Now that's a bullet. Doesn't look like you can do that too often, though. probably be seeing him again. The symbols are disappearing. <laughs> I've never seen the like. This one has been possessed by shade. Poor girl. She exists as neither full human nor other. I guess half human is better than no human at all. But if that part goes, I'll cut her down like all the rest. So let's just leave her here to die in case that big thing comes back. And now we get the Dark Hand magic. I prefer Dark Lance, so... I'm not going to use Dark Hand too often. Or at all. The game told me to. Ah, so you're Kainé. I wonder if they meant by they're ju we're just like Kainé. I wonder if he says that if you don't uh, hear, you're just like Kainé from that one guy. Whatevs. That thing punched you right in the face. I could deal with one, but both. Dialogue's over. 
Now, I'm pretty sure we leveled up after that fight, but... I really like this music track. Let's go talk to Pope's. Yeah, level 6 now. I wonder if we could take on that 4 A-OK. -okay. In fact, I wonder if we have our third Dark Lance. Not yet. I'm not going to bother taking on the boar until I have enough MP to cast three How Dark Lances. Here of all places? None of you will leave this place alive! Calm down! You cannot prevail if you are blinded with rage! Okay, Obi-Wan. We already got that tutorial. Or did we die after it? pig be so strong? It doesn't make sense. Kill our next level. Uh, kind of far away. Ah, screw it. Hit me! Oh crap. Let's see. Unfortunately, you can't just, like, constantly get behind it and try to lock it like that. It just won't work like that. Because it's just gonna, like, hop around on its haunches and then ram you when you're not expecting it. Now, Dark Lances sort of throw it off, but... This thing takes a lot to kill. Like I said, I probably shouldn't be taking it on this early. So as far as I know, it doesn't have like any like weak points if you hit it in a certain area, so I'm just going to throw Dark Lances wherever I can. Come at me, ugly. Oh shit. Seems to be getting smarter as it gets more hurt. But my general strategy for it is jumping and then if double jumping and evading. I really half expected that one to fail. get it to hit itself like that right there all the time and just sort of... Yes! Stun lock it with Dark Blast! I guess this would be the best way to handle it. Little danger. Gameplay. Got him. All right. Suck on that. Most importantly, we got the Boris Tusk. So 
So let's take a look at that item. I think it's a key item. Yes, the boar tusk. Now, wild boars will appear in several places on the map and won't attack us. In fact, we can ride them. That's why I wanted it, to make a uh, travel in the world map even faster than it already is. There must be a sealed verse inside that enormous shade, I'm sure. Yeah, we could barely hold it off. We had that girl help us. We need to get stronger. Anyway, see I'm actually getting experience at a decent rate from all these shades roaming around. That's kind of the point, like the uh... These wide open fields are just full of little baby shades. It'll get easier once we get different types of weapons, but... Like I said, that's not for a long time. But yeah, stronger Dark Blast you can get just by tapping the R1 button instead of just holding it. But it eats through your MP a lot quicker than any other spell will. Even uh, fully charged Dark Lances, really. And they're really not that much more powerful. Especially against, like, bosses. They aren't really worth it. It's not really worth the time to just start spamming really powerful Dark Blasts. You're uh, a lot more... You're in a much better position just by holding R1 and using better spells when the opportunity comes up. I bet you can wonder why my R2 button's dying. <laughs> All this rolling I'm doing. I don't know why my L2 button's like really, really stiff, because I don't use it at all. The only time I ever use it is really in Star Ocean 2. And I play Star Ocean 2 like once a year. Not Star Ocean 2, Star Ocean 4. I don't know where I got 2 from. A side quest. Oh. Oh. Nice. But really, you could buy the two herbs if you really need it and still pull a healthy profit. Though I guess free is better, so. You know. Sad, Yona. <laughs> I think this is pretty much just the game through saying, yo, you want to take on a side quest or two? I wonder if that old man has like an additional reward for us for killing that boar besides just having the boar's tusk. Because the boar's tusk alone is pretty much a good enough reward. Uh huh. Nice, we got a thousand gold out of it. Banging. Hey. Well, I don't care about that one. I will do it, I mean. I just don't intend to do it now. I'm really not going to do any side quests until I can tell we're getting close to the end of where we can do them. Hey, listen. I wonder how much of that I have. Hey. Aren't you just out at uh, the village square?
Hey. She has a side quest too, but I guess she's not interested. Hello. Yeah, well, how much of those do I have? I have the herbs. I'm a little short on berries, and I don't think I've found uh, any royal ferns. I don't even know where I'd begin to look for those. Is there really nothing that can cure the Black Scrawl? I wonder. Yeah, it really doesn't tell you where they are. No medicine in the works of man can hope to stand against it. There has to be something. Perhaps a drug exists to temporarily ease the pain, but none can truly eradicate the disease. That's depressing. Damn it. But if the legend is true, then I hold the key to saving your girl. You're right. I have to hold on to that. Ha! <laughs> That's the spirit. There we go. I guess the red X is going to lead us to where we need to go. Maybe it's like towards the junk heap that it's leading to. It's probably just leading towards the junk heap. Which I don't mind. We got the 1,000 gold from that, uh... Boar side quest. It's filled with garbage and scrap from the old world. There's all kinds of machines in there that no one remembers how to use. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. In the old times, these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time. You get the word lug, which is going to reduce so our MP cost. Why are they all dead? Uh, unfortunately, 2% isn't really much, so I'm not going to bother with lug for now. It's not like every bit counts. Our MP restore is quick enough as it is. Boy, there's a certain spell later we're going to get that would just be perfect for this sort of situation. Oh my god, I killed two of them at once. I guess I'll just spam that against these guys. Be careful, that it looks like. Not really working too well. I think it's, uh, sidestepping. I already know how to do that, so whatever. But yeah, there's a... Uh, we're gonna get a better crowd control option later in the form of different types of weapons. Which, again, isn't built much later, but... We also get better crowd control spells, sort of, instead of just like the linear Dark Blast and Dark Lance. I actually think Dark Hand would do pretty well here. So let's get a... Uh, I don't really defense. I'm gonna put that under Dark Hand. Maybe Dark Hand is like the optimal crowd control spell. Ooh, a rare drop. Dented Metal Bat. Okay. The only issue is with my L2 button the way it is. Oh shit, I fucked that guy up. My L2 button the way it is, it's kinda hard to use uh, those spells. But I always keep evade on R2 because I don't know having evasion under having my index my right index finger doing uh like dashing and whatnot. It's always felt a lot more natural to me than uh any other finger, especially like in uh like Mega Man X or Mega Man Zero. I'd always uh, rearrange the controls to have dodge and be on uh, the R button. Now, we pretty much are probably going to fill up our uh, medicinal herb. Yeah, we've just filled up all of our medicinal herbs. Let's use one or two of them. Now, items. And right, now we're back to full. We're probably going to end up filling it again, because if we get one more, we're back to full. There's one more. So if you need more herbs, it wouldn't be a half bad idea to come here. It's a shame you can't carry more than 10, but you'd be totally invincible if you can carry more than 10. Since herbs really just get better as your defense gets higher and the enemies are doing less damage. HP bar is looking kind of meaty. Jacob, I'm hungry. I know. 
hold on. Hey there, Yuri. Maybe we have some old bread here. Hey. Oh, welcome. Please, come in. Really, we couldn't uh, voice that line? Probably not a good sign. Three titanium alloys. I'm not sure if those are uh, common or rare drops. Because I know they're going to start needing rare drops to upgrade a lot of weapons. I think there's uh, 30 weapons in the game, and they can all be upgraded four times. I never bothered with upgrading because it's kind of a grind for the materials you need. And I'm not really about that grind in life, so... At least in this game. Though I did it for money, because money is so tight in this game. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. But what awaits us in the junk heap? What could have happened to the children's mother? Find out next time on Nier. Have a good day!